So let's look at five reasons why Georgia will win, while the why the Bulldogs will beat Ohio State, and they will advance to the national championship. We're going to start with number one here. It's the third down offense for Georgia. They are so good on third downs. There's a, a couple of reasons why. Uh, they're fifth in the country in third down offense. So we're talking about a percentage of, of conversions. They're really good. Stetson Bennett is big with his legs, so he can make plays if it's third down. Uh, they have a, a good running game. They've got guys that can get open. they got, of course, the two great tight ends that are able to, to run those short routes. And it's just the fact that they they stay ahead of the chains for the most part. They're going to run the football a good bit. They're going to get into third and three, third and four, third and two. They're not going to be in a lot of third and long situations. And that just plays into their hands because Ohio State in this game, I think, is going to be looking for the big plays. They're going to try to go down the field. And then Georgia, they're going to be running the football, taking some short passes, working these tight ends, controlling the clock. And I think, again, Georgia is going to want to follow the Michigan blueprint here. And I think that, that that's what they're – they're going to have to, to have these short third downs. They're going to have to convert on these third downs. But it's what they've been good at all year. And no reason to think that they won't be good in this game. And so now we go to the red zone. So how about the red zone offense for Georgia? And these are, these are keys. When I look at, at the games like this, third down – Red zone, those are always two of the first things that I look at. And Georgia's really good. You know, we're, we're talking about the five reasons why Georgia would win this game. You could really make a, a longer video because there are a lot of a lot of things that, that favor Georgia in this game. If you look at the stats for these two teams, you see something that Ohio State does really well, and then you say, well, well Georgia does it even better. And you can, again, go down and look at the stats for these two teams. Georgia has just been so good this year. But, yeah, we're talking about red zone. Offense for the Bulldogs, just talked about third down offense, but this team's even better in the red zone. Um, they're first in the country. They are first in the country in red zone offense. They're able to run the football. I talked about it, Stetson Bennett. You have to watch him as a runner. You have these tight ends that are almost impossible to stop. That's why this team is so good in the red zone. So if they can put together the long drives, take it down into the red zone, finish them off with touchdowns, uh, they could really break the will of this Ohio State defense. And again, Georgia just has all the weapons, all the ingredients to be really good down there in the red zone. How about number three? We're going to stick to the red zone. It's red zone defense. So another advantage here for Georgia. Uh, they're the best in the country here as well. Yes, Georgia, number one in the country in red zone offense, number one in the country in red zone defense. That is just outstanding. Uh, Ohio State's actually third in the country in red zone offense, so it's strength versus strength, but I still give the advantage to Georgia. I mean, you're really just not going to run the football on them, and, and that's how you have to score in the red zone a lot of times. You've got to be able to run the ball. C.J. Stroud, when he's got to throw it down there in the red zone, has not been as good. You know, Again, Ohio State's looking to make those big plays, not as effective of throwing the ball down there in the red zone. So I think that plays into Georgia's hands. I think their defense will be ready. Uh, if Ohio State is not able to hit those big plays, they get bogged down in the red zone, have to suffer some field goals. Uh, that's going to be, I mean, that's a nightmare scenario for Ohio State. And I think that plays, again, right into Georgia's hands, into their defense's hands. And if they can keep them, almost like a bend but don't break type thing for Ohio, for Georgia, just because Ohio State is that explosive on offense, um, I, th I think that red zone defense could be the key in this game. If we're talking about a single player for Georgia, it's Stetson Bennett. Uh you know, it seems like the obvious pick, the quarterback here. Uh, but I, it all kind of goes back to those third downs, back to those red zone situations because of what he's able to do with his legs, which is why he won the job last year, why he wound up starting over JT Daniels, because they liked his ability to run the football, move around in the pocket and do those types of things. And it makes this Georgia team so tough to get off the field on third downs, tough to, to keep them out of the end zone in the red zone. Just talked about it a second ago. Number one in the country in red zone offense. Uh, I think he's a big key for Georgia. He's already done it, won a national championship for this team last year. He's proven that he can make big plays. He can step up in big moments. And this is obviously going to be a big moment here in the college football playoff. So I think Stetson Bennett, a big key for Georgia. If we're going to talk about another group, it's obviously the tight ends uh, with Darnell Washington and Brock Bowers. I mean, those guys are pretty much impossible to stop. Uh, so you can, you can make that, you can put that in the video here as well. Can Ohio State stop those tight ends? It's going to be very tough. Uh, I don't know if anyone's really stopped them this year. 
But Stetson Bennett, I think, he's the key in this one. Uh, they will go as he goes. If he struggles, Ohio State's going to have a chance to pull off the upset. If he plays great, I just don't see Georgia losing this game. And then we look at the psychological side here for Georgia. It's confidence. This team hasn't lost a game all year. I uh, really have only had a couple of games that were even close. They're coming off of a national championship. So they're, they, they've they got plenty of confidence coming into this game. They're the team that is expected to win. And you wonder about Ohio State, of course, playing with no pressure, really, because they are the underdogs. But do they believe they can win this game? Do the players really believe they can beat Georgia? You know, that's going to be a big key because Georgia has been so good all year. They've pretty much been looked like the best team all year. And they're a team playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, remember last year against Michigan, what they were able to do to the Wolverines. Will we see something similar this year? Well, we'll find out. But I do think that uh, th the confidence advantage here for Georgia is really big. And, and like I said, Ohio State's got to believe that they can win this game to have any chance. Georgia has a lot of advantages. Talked about the third downs, the red zone, uh, Stetson Bennett at quarterback, all the things he can do. A lot of things going in Georgia's way, and if, if they win this game, I think it'll be because of these reasons that I just listed.